Hey, welcome in and thank you for joining this playthrough of Marvel Champions the Card Game in which Spider-Man Miles Morales in Aggression will be taking on an expert Sinister Six. This series is part of the Perfect Matchup series by Get Up and Game, so be sure to go check out Josh's past videos. If you enjoy what you see here, please like and subscribe below. It really, really does help a lot and I appreciate it. Alright, so we are playing as Spider-Man Miles Morales um, who comes in with a great stat line and his Venom Blast and Spider Camouflage abilities where he can deal two damage and stun or give him a tough and confuse, which is awesome. So we're trying to bring in and play our web shots that get to activate that and our swing ins. And then once they're stunned and confused, our acrobatics does a ton of damage. So pretty cool cards in his kit that comes with that. We're playing in aggression and we're gonna try to swing in some home tech honed technique um with a ton of aggression events and attack events i mean and we're going to bring in martial prowess to pay for them and endurance for our health and then for those attack events melee with home technique would now do six and six damage which is insane um clobber brings out five damage and then pops back into your hand and can do another five damage um, press the advantage you get to deal three damage but it gets some car card draw in there um, and then drop kicks where you get to choose right if home techniques and you can deal seven damage or stun and draw a card So home technique does some pretty cool opportunities there for our allies We have locust who can go grab an, a melee essentially um, Sunfire Psylocke brings in um, stun and confused Sunfire is just for you know thrown in there and getting a block and um, he has you know his his core response um, and then Professor X and Mockingbird to get more stuns and confuses. And then we have our two um, power of regressions and three doubles, and that makes up our deck. So. All right, so for our encounter deck, we are going up against the Sinister Six. Um, they are definitely sinister. Um, we're trying to escape the light at the end, and we're bringing in their guerrilla tactics, the standard three set expert, and um, once pursued by the past hits, we'll bring out Prowler and our obligation goes in there as well. So that is the encounter deck. All right, so let's get started here. I am gonna shuffle things up. And, and when we, when I played this deck just now, because I haven't played this scenario or Miles Morales in a while, it got so out of hand. Oof, so we'll see. And it took a long time, so I'm gonna be making fast decisions during this game, probably missing you know, the best moves, but hey, we gotta keep things moving. And let's see, so we are gonna use, look at our scheme here, um, our main scheme. We're gonna choose two villains because there's one of us playing here. And we're gonna go one through six and then one through five. And we got five, which comes out as Vulture with the activation order of six. And then one through five, we will get <laughs> roll again um, the one and it's going to be Electro so we have Electro and Vulture coming in Electro gets our first player token and because it's the lowest activation order I'll put the rest of these up here and what else do we got so we have our 20 on light at the end of the tunnel which is what that starts with and we come here this comes in with two and we get to draw so let's see we're going to draw one two three four five and six so cards that we like here let's see we like web shot we like swinging in those two are great um i mean power of aggression with clobber is nice but man let's see i want to be able to potentially play both of these and i feel like we're going to need a double potentially to do that so we'll get rid of these and draw three more see if we get set up cards as well one two and three okay so no doubles but we'll see what we can do um, we are going to start out can't do anything in alter ego form um, with any of this so we're going to flip up into spider-man and then we're going to see what we can do here um, ideally we would like to stun since we're in our hero form, but 
actually no, we'd rather swing in because we get to remove threat, we get a tough and we confuse. So that's pretty sweet. Um, so we want to play a web shooter. Drop kick is not going to be happening this turn. Um, so we're going to use a drop kick to get down a web shooter. That's going to come in with three tokens. I like using the actual tokens for web shooter. Um, and then we will want to, so I think we can swing in and press the advantage, which should be A-OK -okay. and fine. Yeah, that works for me. So we're going to use Sunfire and Webshot to play a swing in, which allows us to remove four threat from a scheme. And then we Webshot is a mental resource, so we can resolve spider camouflage. Um, so we pay for those. We remove four threat from a scheme. Let's remove it from light at the end. Bring this down. And then we will remove spider camouflage. So we'll give ourselves a tough. And then we'll give someone a confuse. We might as well put it on electro. Um, why not? Because he has a higher scheme anyway in case. And then we can use one of our web shooters and exhaust that to play press the advantage. We'll deal two damage to him. Um, we'll do it on Electro. And then if that enemy is stunned or confused, which he is, we draw a card into Power Within, which this is nice. We'll hang on to Power Within. Um, and then we have our activation and we will just thwart to keep down the sinister synchronization. And that is about all we can do. Let's hope. It'd be cool to get some attacks going. Some The hone technique would be neat. But we will see what we can do. So we'll move that out of the way. And then we'll draw up to five. So we have one, two. There's hone technique. Three, four, five. Ah, that's <laughs> so we have our... Um, cool. We'll see what we can do here. I liked that we got Hone Technique, but Melee is the best card to use <laughs> with Hone Technique, so we'll probably have to use those to play it though. But let's see what we can do. We will go over here. We're going to add one to Sinister Synchronization. Electro is going to attack us and we'll let it come in because we have our stun or our tough. So he's attacking for one, just one, and that's fine. That one pings off our tough. And we're feeling good about that. I think we're, yeah. So now he gets an encounter card, which is going to be a hidden in shadow. So each enemy gains one <laughs> hazard icon. Well, wow, okay, so that needs to go immediately. Um, and that comes in four. And that was our, okay, I was like, wait, we're not about to throw more down, right? Yeah, so on this, um, the next time we would deal, if we don't get rid of this this turn, we're getting a lot of encounter cards. I don't think we have the ability to get rid of it this turn, which is unfortunate. So let's see, we might not even have the ability to get rid of Electra this turn either. So let's see, it could be a crazy turn here. Um, especially with the hazards. So what can we do? We want to get down the hone technique and we need to pay two things to get it. We, our Venom Blast could be neat with power within um, and we could get down hone technique and that would be all we'd be able to do this turn, but it might be worth it because I don't think how many, how much damage we can do? We can do two, three, four. That would just bring Electro to six. Um, or Electro has six more health. Yeah, no, you know what? I'm not gonna think too much about it. We're gonna spend one, exhaust this. We'll use that as a mental and melee as a mental and clobber to put down home technique. We're gonna keep that up here just so we know it's there. Um, and then we're gonna use melee to play a power within. And then we will use a basic power to, actually we need a thwart two from uh, hidden in the shadows because that needs to go. 
as soon as we can. Um, and then after we use basic power, I will discard power within to use the Venom Blast ability. So we will um, deal two damage to an enemy, bringing Electro up to four damage. Where's the four? And then I will stun it as well. So he's stunned and confused. Um, and so that works. That's fine. We're going to get um, three encounter cards this turn, which stinks, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so we're going to go over. One gets on Sinister Synchronization. Uh, we will uh, have Electro Attack, but he's stunned. And then we will do our encounter card and then our two hazards for Vulture and Electro. And so we get Frequent Flyers. All right, so in Expert Mode, this card gains Insight 1. So this goes up to three. And then we will put aside, put Hobgoblin and Vulture into play. Vulture is already into play, but let's put Hobgoblin in first. So he's three in the activation order. So he goes in between here. Um, if Hobgoblin is already in play, he was not. If Vulture is already in play, discard one card from at random from our hand, which we didn't draw. Um, so let's draw our hand first. Um, we get Dropkick, Energy, Professor X, Ac Arachnobatics, and Power of Aggression all. What an awesome hand that we're about to lose a card from. Um, so Vulture was already in play, so we have to discard a card from random, at random from our hand. Um, so we'll do one through five and re-roll six. We get a four, one, two, three, four, and we lose Professor X. Alrighty, that's unfortunate um but we'll see we will see what we do um i kind of like what i saw in my hand so that's fine nothing else happens okay they just come out and so now we're gonna get we definitely need to get rid of hidden shadow that's our top priority dark designs comes in um, i'm gonna place one pursuit counter on pursuit by the past um We'll use one of these and the villain schemes. Ah, oh, this stinks because I think we have, do we have an arachnobatics? We had a useful arachnobatics. Now it doesn't really do much for us because Electro is gonna scheme, but he's confused. Ah, oh, that stinks. And then we will see training presence attached to the villain with the most remaining hit points Okay, so who has the most remaining hit points? Hobgoblin. Threat cannot be removed from light at the end. Period. Okay, so that's, man, even more unfortunate. So, oh, it comes back to us. What can we do? We, we sh these are readied. Um, I forgot to do my ready and draw at the end of the turn. Um, I will thwart two from Spider-Man, get rid of Hidden in the Shadow. That thing is crazy. Um, what an insane card. So now what can we do? We, hmm. One, two, three. So well, we can play a drop kick and stun probably Electro again. Deal four damage to an enemy paid for this card using only resources stun that enemy uh, let's see what we can do um, so we're definitely going to play drop kick with our web shooter and generate a uh, fist resource here and then um, our power of aggression two more fists I guess we, we have our hone technique in so I'm questioning if I really want to because we can also just straight up do seven damage to someone, um, which might not be terrible. Do four. Well, four is going to take out Electro anyway. And I want to be able to stun someone. Um, Arachnobatic will deal five if someone is stunned. So five, nine. So that'll take out Hobgoblin. Perfect. Okay, so to bring that back, we're dealing four damage to Hobgoblin with our drop kick um, and we paid for that using all fists so we're going to stun him and draw a card 
and then we draw into another arachnobatics. Cool. Um, so actually, we might just hang on to our energy here. Um, drop kick is resolved. We can use arachnobatics to deal two damage to an enemy, and then so that brings him up to six, and then we can deal three more because he's stunned, and so that does nine damage total for hobgoblin. Hobgoblin goes away, and then because I think this um, I think this activates because we defeat him. Because while this is in play, like not like it can't be removed, right? But then we defeat him, and when defeated, we remove four threat from the side scheme. Honestly, I don't. Does taunting presence go off there, right? So we have. While he's while this is like this, threat cannot be removed from light at the end, but then he's defeated. So when he's defeated, that would go away. I think we remove the four threat. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know. Um, but I think we genuinely, like I tend to lean towards, um, uh, like what's it called, uh, grim rolling, but it just feels like that's, I feel like that's what it's intended to do where if you get rid of them, you're still able to remove it. Um, so let's do that. Can't do anything else here. Um, we can draw and ready up. So we'll ready Spider-Man. I need to remember that we have own technique in play and definitely not forget about it. So we're gonna draw, do we wanna flip down? No, we wouldn't want that to pop. So we're gonna draw one, two, three, four. <laughs> we have all our doubles. <laughs> That's just, what a ridiculous hand. Um, just dumb. So what can we do now? Um, uh, we can go over to here. We'll add one to the main. And then, oh yeah, we don't have any defenses here. So Electra is just going to go ahead and attack us. And we might defend um, after Electra because this is going to deal five. Yeah, we'll defend just in case because we're kind of squishy with our nine health. And so he's attacking for one. We're hoping he somehow only gets a one boost here. So he's attacking for one, two, sweet. So we do block all that damage. Um, and so he did not attack and damage us. So he remains the villain. Um, then we get our encounter card, just one this time. So nowhere safe. We place one pursuit counter. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Okay, so we are gonna put on a pursuit counter and then we have to discard an upgrade or support you control, which of course is our home technique. How lame. Um, so it's gonna come back to us with our essentially dead hand where we can um, use, uh, I'm trying to think if anything matters with the resources. I'll hang on to these two. So I'll use um, an energy to play a clobber and we'll deal three damage to an enemy, um, which would still be electro or cause yeah, we can deal three and then, ooh, okay. We, we have options here, which we like to see. I'm just trying to think now because double life we can um, we can get some stuff going with double life. So essentially we can deal six, seven, we can deal eight damage if we want to, um, which I might just get rid of the vulture if that's the case. So here's what I'm trying to do. I play the clobber. I'm sorry, play the clobber. We're gonna deal three damage to vulture, and then we get clobber back. So what I can do is I can also, oh, but I'm stunned, so three, yeah, no, that still works. Um, I'm gonna play my double life, overpaying for it, and I will change my form. I used a, oh no, wait, let me do, do it the other way, sorry, I didn't realize it was a fist resource. 
Um, so I'm going to change my form using strength instead, and that readies me. After I change that, I can shuffle one Spider-Man card into my deck, which will be... Um, what do we want in here? We kind of like... I like our swing in, and so we'll shuffle a swing in. Do And then now we still have our actual flip, and so we will flip back to hero form. Now we're ready. We can swing for two um, to bring him up to five damage. And then we'll play our clobber to deal three more damage. Um, and then that brings him to eight, which knocks him out. And that removes four threat from a scheme, I believe. Remove four threat from a side scheme which will be from here. So this will come down to one and then we can just put a three on here so that we have eight left on light at the end. Um, I don't love that there's four out of eight threat on the main, but that's what we got. So I feel okay about that. We will draw back five more cards. That ended up being an okay round. So one, two, three, four, five. We used all three of our doubles there, so that was funny. Um, so let's see, we get Endurance, Jefferson Davis, Webshot, The Locust, and Martial Prowess. And so we're going to go back over. We are ready. We will bring this up to five. And Electro is going to attack us. We will take another shot at um, defending again. So we're going to defend for two. Yeah, we're gonna defend for two, and then he's attacking for one, two again, sweet. So we defend all that, that is great. And he gets an encounter card. So encounter card is uh, heightened morale. So essentially he gets plus one attack for the number of villains in play, but he's about to go away anyway. So that comes back to us and what do we want to do? Um, we could we could either web shot and get down an endurance, or we can get down a martial prowess and web shot. I think I would rather do that. Um, so I'm gonna spend Jefferson Davis and endurance to get down martial prowess, and then I'm going to spend our Resource from Martial Prowess and the Locust here to play a web shot. We're going to deal four damage to an enemy. That's going to deal. Ah, it kind of stinks, but we're okay with that. So we'll just do it. Um, I probably should have got down the Locust because another enemy doesn't come out, but we do get rid of Electro. Um, goes back in. We're just kind of hanging out by ourselves right now um, because we need to wait until that goes off to deal with the enemies. And then I can use my Venom Blast, which is stunning enemies, which doesn't do much for us. So let's see. The We definitely need to remove threat from the main. Um, but we removed the last enemy, which removes seven from here. So this goes down to one. It's just one left on light at the end. And then we're going to ready everything up. Yeah, I don't want anyone to scheme. or So we will stay in hero form. I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, okay. What do we want to do? So we definitely need to... Hopefully use my activation to thwart, but we'll see what happens. So we come over to here. This goes up to six out of eight. Definitely not ideal. Um, and we are going to, um, no villain would activate, so we're gonna do ambush. We will, uh, and then we'll continue their activation. So we're going to look at our villains here and then choose a random one um, using our die here. So one through six, we get the one. So we bring vultures coming back out. Cool. 
And so he's going to continue his attack against us because he was attacking. And so he's attacking for two. We can... Uh, I kind of want to use my... I, we have no thwarting here except for Psylocke. Mm. Yeah, so we're just going to let this come in because what happens... Um, we choose and discard one card from our hand, um, which that'll be okay. I think we'll get rid of Dropkick at the end here um, because the reason why is I want to be able to thwart because that's getting crazy and I don't have any cards to do that in my hand. So we're going to take his attack of two, three, um, bringing us down to six health, which is okay. And then we have to remove a card from our hand, which we'll just do Dropkick for that. Um, and now, what else can we do? We will get our encounter card. Sweet. So, we are getting our encounter card, and it's going to be drawing nearer. Not ideal. Um, so, after our turn begins, we have to discard a card, and then place on Pursuit by the Past. Cool. So, what all can we do? We comes over to us our turn starts we need to discard a card which will be a press the advantage which adds one to pursue by the past that goes up to three we want to flip down to alter ego to get rid of that um, so how do we safely do that I don't think there's any way to do there's no way so we can if we know that that's going to pop So we want to get rid of drawing near. I'm trying to think of our options here, y'all. So I could stay up in this form. We would play one, two, or one, two for this. Yeah, this could get out of hand pretty fast we're going to be bringing out the Prowler. That brings out someone, and then this is going to bring out someone if that pops. So we can either stay in hero form, get the Prowler, and deal with that. And let this... Yeah, I think... I kind of want to control this. I'm afraid of this popping and us losing to Scheme later down the line. Um... So I will, oh boy, we'll thwart two from here to bring this from six down to four. And then we'll leave light at the end for now because what we can do, I can't play Psylocke for my hand. So we can use Psylocke and Martial Prowess to play a web shot, which will deal four damage to Vulture And then we paid that to be used. Oh, yikes. We need to use an energy resource to do the Venom Blast. So I wanted to play Genki Lee, but we need his wild to use the Venom Blast. So we'll use Genki Lee instead. That's unfortunate. Um, deal our four damage and now do our Venom Blast where we deal two more damage. So he's up to six health. And then... It's stunned. And so we can either leave him there or say forget about it and bring in uh, and knock him out using press the advantage. Hmm. What would we want to do? Let's see. Um, do we want to use press the advantage and get rid of him? because that would ping light at the end of the tunnel. Bring someone else out. And it would start getting more cards. No, we want to leave them there, honestly, for this turn. Because um, it sounds like we have, we're going to have a lot to deal with next turn with Prowler coming out. And with all that, I'm just going to get rid of these. Yeah, because we have a lot coming up. So we're going to draw five cards, swing in, swing, there's our swing ins, um, defense, mockingbird, and melee. Okay, we have one card left. 
There we go. So we're kind of getting what we wanted. I was looking for spider camouflage stuff and here it is. So, okay. Goes over to the vulture. Um, one goes on here. This goes back up to five. And he goes to attack, but he's stunned. And then we get an encounter card, which is going to be, oof, Partnership of Pain. Okay, so hero, the villain attacks you with plus one attack. Okay, so he's attacking us for two. All of these are readied. I have a terrible habit of not readying. Um, this time, I think I do want to, yeah, yeah, I think I'm safe to defend just in case here, because we only have six health. Um, so we will, he's attacking for two. Um, he doesn't get anything else because there's no one else. But he's just attacking for two. That is fine. And then Dark Designs is going to go off. So we're going to place one Pursuit Counter. But um, this is going to go off. So we, we are bringing out Prowler now. Um, so he's attacking. We're bringing out Prowler. Um, we're not an alter ego, so he doesn't come in with a stun. And then we get Tracking Prey, which is going to be um, when revealed. If you are in alter ego form, place one to sell it. We're not an alter ego. So thankfully, we're not an alter ego. Um, this comes in with four, an acceleration token on it. So Pursued by the Past did its flipping. Um, we put everyone in. And then we're going to flip this back over anyway, and I'll shuffle his other cards into our deck, Slice and Dice and, dice and Razor Claws. So one, two, three. We are slowly getting there. Um, so Prowler comes out. He's not going to activate because that's the end of what we're doing here. Because the Dark Designs popped on Vulture's attack. He only attacked for two. We defend for two. Nothing happens there. And... This is what we're looking at. So this is gonna start and then, oh, so we are going to have to discard our last card, which is a web shooter, which is a bummer because of drawing nearer and that's gonna add one onto Pursued by the Past. I'm hoping to do some stuff and be able to flip down this turn um, so we can get rid of drawing nearer. So we would want to hang on to something here. So. We can't do a basic, so we're probably going to use defec defense mechanism for that. So what do we want to do? Um, we want to be able to swing in for sure. For sure, for sure, we want to swing in. Um, so what can we pay to do that? We want to use a mental resource to, to do that. We're not going to be able to play Mockingbird for sure. So we'll use Melee and Mockingbird to play a swing in. I'm going to remove four threat from the main to bring this down to one. And I paid that using a mental resource, um, using our melee. So we will resolve spider camouflage, which we're going to get a tough. And we are going to confuse an enemy, which can be vulture. That's fine. We're doing just kind of, I think, some damage control here. I forgot to shuffle. Oh, wait. Let's try that again. Um, when melee, when web shooter came out, we needed to shuffle our deck and put that back in. So now our discard pile has our two cards and swing in. Okay, so we gave ourselves a tough. We confused Vulture. Because, yeah, we're not going to be able to do anything regardless. So now what we can do is flip down we're still exhausted after we change this form i can shuffle that swing in back into the deck um, so we're gonna have to deal with prowler but right now things feel okay so i'm while i'm in my alter ego i'm gonna discard my defense mechanism so then I can discard drawing nearer. And so we're just trying to control a little bit here. Um, we seem okay right now. So that's fine. I'm going to hang on to swing in. We're going to ready up. And I'm going to draw one, two, three, <laughs> four, 
five and six cards. Okay, man, so home technique, again, is looking very nice. But then we're losing web shots. And, ah, so we'll see what we do. Um, yeah, okay, so we are going to go over to the main here or over to the villain. Um, we're gonna add one onto two. We're gonna add two because of the acceleration. This goes up to three. Um, Vulture is going to scheme, but he's confused. Prowler schemes for one. This goes up to four out of eight. And then now, oh, what else can we do? That's everything. He's gonna get an encounter card and it's going to be Taunting Presence, where threat cannot be removed from light at the end. That is also fine. Um, so here we go, let's see. It comes back to us, we have our hand. I don't think there's anything to do in Alter Ego, so we will flip up. Oh, lots of stuff to do. I don't think at the end of the day we're getting Psy locked down, so I, I might play my web shooter so web shooters comes down, we get our three tokens. Now what we can do, can we do? Um, if we defeat Vulture, we could just take out Tracking Prey, which sounds like a good idea. I like that idea. So yeah, we're going to just straight up attack Vulture for two, um, takes him out. And like I said, that taunting presence, oh, well, Threat can't be removed from light at the end, it says, but we're not targeting light at the end. We're gonna remove seven from Tracking Prey to deal with this. Okay, so now I feel good about that. We have our tough card, so. Um, do we really want to. Do, do, do. Sorry, I'm just trying to think what we can do here. At the end of the day, I can't play Web Shot because I only have one resource if I played Hone Technique. Hone Technique seems like the right move to play. Um, our other choices would be a web shot takes out Prowler. prowler. Nah. A web shot takes out Prowler. Um, I think we're okay with him though. A swing in removes four from the main, but I think we're also okay with that. Yeah, I think we're safe to get down home technique here. Um, so, oh wait, this plays web shot to, yeah, no, okay. So I, I just wanna get down home technique, um, but do I wanna hang on to any, like a web shot and use this instead? Um, Yeah, we'll hang on to a web shot for whatever enemy comes out next. So we're going to play um, one web shooter, a web shot, and a swing in to get down home technique. So now we have that on the table um, again. And we will hang on to web shot because why not? Um, and then we'll ready everyone up here. And then we're going to draw four more cards. We press the advantage, drop kick. Dropkick and web shooter. Okay, sweet. So Prowler's staying on the table here. We're all ready to go. It's gonna go over to um, the villains here. So we're gonna add one where this will go up to five out of eight now. And then a villain would activate, there's none. So we need to do our ambush and then let them attack into our tough. So one through six, we're gonna roll. We get a three, one, two, three, and it is Vulture again. Okay, so Vulture comes out. Um, he's been just targeting, targeting us this round. Um, continues his activation, so he's gonna attack us and run in, into our tough, so he's attacking for two, three. That hits our tough. Goodbye, tough status. Okay, so now Prowler's gonna hit us for two, which we could defend. Um, no, I think I kind of want to hang on to my activation. So that brings us down to four, which is dangerous, but let's see what all we can do. So we can take out 
Vulture this turn if we want to, that and that would pop light at the end, or we can thwart light at the end. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, I keep forgetting we can actually thwart this as well. Um, so he attacked us, and I think we still need our encounter card. Sorry, I'm overthinking here. Yeah, we need our encounter card, which is going to be a slice and dice. Okay, so Prowler is going to attack us. If that attack defeats the character, gain Surge. Prowler attacks the player with the fewest remaining hit points. Okay, so we're going to go down to two health um, and play a little bit of a dangerous game here. Do we want to do that? Sure. We'll, we'll play it a little spicy here. I think we... That could be the death of us, really, but um, we can see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna just take the two damage and hang on to our activation. If anything, we could flip down and heal. So what do we wanna do? Um, we're not playing two drop kicks here. So I think we're gonna spend one to get another web shooter down. And that comes in with three. One, two, oh no, we'll just put three on here. Um, and so what else can we do here? We can do a web shot and or a drop kick. A drop kick could just do seven damage and take out Vulture. Um, and we could use all three of those to play it if we really wanted to. Um, and then we would draw a card No, no, seven damage wouldn't draw us a card. Because um, we'd be using Hone Technique. That just straight up takes out Vulture. We move on from Light at the End. I don't know, it sounds like a lot. Um, I kind of want to take care of Prowler here, but I think I might just do that. Let's just take care of Prowler and put some damage onto um, Vulture at the same time. So I'm going to play my Web Shot, and we're going to deal... We're going to spend one and um, two to do that. A web shot. Um, we're going to deal four damage to an enemy. We'll put it onto Prowler. Um, and then we can resolve our Venom Blast. So we'll deal two damage to um, Vulture. And then we'll stun Vulture. And then with our basic activation, or do we want to use... Yeah, with our basic activation. We can attack to get rid of Prowler, which we'll do. Um, but, oh, it's sort of unfortunate because we're at two health, which is really dangerous. I don't know if we'd be able to survive next turn shoot so we might have to flip down and let that pop but that's all right so um, I want to play press the advantage it could do three damage with home technique um, if we used our web shooter but honestly that's not that much of a difference um, it wouldn't kill him so we're just gonna deal we're gonna, fine. we're gonna use our drop kick to play press the advantage. We're gonna deal two damage to an enemy, uh, which brings him up to four. Since he is stunned, we get to draw a card, and it's Sunfire, which um, we can't play, um, but we definitely need to flip down because I don't know if we're gonna be able to heal. So we might get rid of Sun, well, let's not do that yet. We're gonna flip down, and we're gonna just let the Sinister Syndicate pop which is still going to be tough because we're going to get a ton of enemies out here, um, which is fine though. But because of that, I hope hoping to draw like a melee. Um, so we'll get rid of Sunfire. We'll ready up, and then we will um, draw six cards. When we change to Miles Morales, though, we can throw in a web shot here to get some confuse and toughs going. All right. 
Okay, so we're gonna draw six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Sweet, the endurance is nice to see actually. Um, Arachnobatics, Dropkick, Clobber. Okay, so we have, good, we have some cool cards here. And we will go over to Vulture. One's gonna go on here. So this is at six out of eight, which is dangerous. Um, oh yeah, we know it's gonna pop anyway, sorry. So Vulture, we know he's gonna scheme. Um, he is scheming for one. Um, yes, one went on, he's activating. One, two, three. So that goes up to nine, which is enough to pop this. Um, so this goes out, and then when revealed, we have to choose a set-aside villain and place the active counter on it. And then if this is expert mode, we deal a face-down encounter card to us. Okay, so we're going to get two encounter cards. So one, two, three, four, five here. Um, we'll roll a six. We'll roll a one. So Craven is coming out, so he goes ahead of Vulture here. He gets the active villain token and Vulture stunned, which is fine. And now what can we do? This comes over and it comes in with three per person. So we do want to take care of that. We got a one encounter card. Our next encounter card comes out. Okay, so now we get our two encounter cards. It's going to be each nemesis minion in play activates against us. If not, place three counters on Pursued by the Past. Okay, so three counters, that's gonna pop Pursued by the Past again. Oh, and we're an alter ego. So what happens now? I don't, I haven't actually done this with bringing out my nemesis twice. So after I place a Pursued counter here, if the number is at least three, we remove each counter. If our nemesis and it's in play, it activates against you. Otherwise, flip this card over. After I flip this to this side, find my nemesis minion and reveal it. So I have to go find Prowler, and reveal him. Um, search the set aside area for your nemesis side scheme. It's not there. Okay, so this goes back. So it just brings out Prowler. Um, because we are an alter ego though, he gets a tough which is annoying. And then we get our second card, which is gonna be a life-size decoy. Oh, here we go. Okay, so in expert mode, this comes in with tough. Now we can't port side schemes and we're not gonna be having a good time here. So this feels like what happened in my last game where like both life-size decoys, Prowler comes out, they all have tough. It's annoying to get rid of them, um, but we will see what we can do. So I think we need to heal up to six. Um, yeah, so we'll heal up to six health here. And then I think I am also going to exhaust this web shooter to play a um, endurance to help our health out a little more here. So we'll be back up to nine. Um, so this come here, we're gonna go back up to nine health um, then we're going to flip up that, um, honestly, that attack to ping off Tufts would probably be handy, but let's see, I kind of really want to deal with, um, uh, Clobber was not her first card, but okay, I kind of, I really want to deal with, Um, the life-size decoy and Prowler, mostly Prowler first, but I also want to get rid of the Vulture, which we can do with Arachnobatics. Um, yeah, so let's exhaust Martial Prowess. Unless we wanted to do a drop kick onto, hold on, I'm thinking about my resources here, because if we wanted to do a drop kick onto Craven. Um, and stun him, that could be okay too, which would be um, one, two, three. 
does that, and then we can still play Arachnobatics onto Vulture, or whoever comes out with Blight at the end. Yeah, sorry, that feels okay here. Um, I instead, so we're gonna play a drop kick. I'm gonna use a clobber, my web shooter, which is gonna be a fist, and martial prowess to play drop kick, where we're gonna deal four damage to Craven. Um, okay, feeling again okay with this. We're gonna deal four damage, we're gonna stun him. And then we're going to draw a card. It's Jefferson Davis. So we're not going to use Jefferson Davis, but um, so I could deal two more damage to just Jefferson Davis. Or geez, sorry, two more damage to Craven, and then draw another card, which I don't hate. So yeah, we'll do that. I'll press the advantage, paying Jefferson. Davis for him. Um, how did I pay for dropkick? Yeah, I used Clobber to pay for dropkick. Um, so I'll deal two, because it's not a mental resource, so we're not doing home technique. But we'll bring Craven up to six. We'll draw another card. And do another Arachnobatics. Alrighty. We can play one Arachnobatics and. trying to think. If I get rid of one of these guys, we're going to bring out um, Light at the End. We're going to get ambushed again, which feels super dangerous. Um, so I might hang out for one more turn. And honestly, just hang on to this hand. Yeah, I might risk it and do that. Because <laughs> I like both of these Arachnobatics with Craven and Vulture, um, both stunned, at least, well, let's see, because at least one of them will be, so I don't think I need both of these Arachnobatics. Yeah, so I'll, I'm going to discard one Arachnobatics here, because I'm afraid of popping this, honestly, with all these, all like everything that's in play right now, um, which in that case, I might... I could just remove the tough. Yeah, so we'll remove use arachnobatics to remove the tough from Prowler. This sounds inefficient. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm going to draw four up to five more cards. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we are cooking now. So let's see. Oh man, melee is going to be sweet. Potentially. So let's see. Alrighty, so we're gonna ready everyone up. We have our hand. We will um, go over to the main here. We're gonna put one on to Sinister Beatdown. And then Craven's gonna go to attack, but he's stunned. And then we get an encounter card. Um, Prowler's gonna attack for two, and we're just gonna take it. So we're down to seven health. And then we get our encounter card. Okay. So hopefully we survive this one and we're able to do some stuff. Oh my gosh, a Sinister Strike. Okay. Uh, too much stuff. Okay, so Sinister Strike goes off. We're going to add one to Pursued by the Past. Um, we're in hero form, so the villain's going to attack us. He has two attack. I think we need to defend this. Um, when he attacks us, we have to... If he damages us, we have to discard a supporter upgrade we control. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. That's so dumb. Um, two. So I think it's... Let's see. With our health and with... I want to be able to thwart. This is so annoying. Let's see. So Craven's going to attack us. We have to get rid of... He can attack us, and then we get rid of Martial Prowess, maybe. Um, no. So, let's see. Um, I 
resource generator. Sorry, I'm thinking so much. Um, I guess we're going to defend for two. Uh, we'll defend it. He attacks. He's going to deal two damage to us. Um, we go down to five. Oh, this is so defeating. Okay. Um, because it's, now we have to choose and discard one upgrade or support we control. Do we want to discard web shooters instead? Um, or martial, martial prowess. The thing is, I want to be able to pay for melee using a web shooter. Yeah, so, okay. We're, <laughs> I got to get rid of martial prowess because I can't risk getting rid of endurance or hone technique. So we got to get rid of that. Okay, so that was um, our, everything we're doing, it's coming back to us. We're going to try to do some cool stuff but they're just really preventing us from doing so. Um, but let's try this though. Uh, I think I can do everything I want to do. Maybe I want to do arachnopatics. I don't think, actually, no, we're not going to need arachnopatics. do okay I'm sorry I'm just trying to think what I can do with my double life here um, and if I want to use it but let's start with melee we will we're gonna play a melee using a strength and a web shooter generating a mental resource so here's our melee we're gonna deal six and six damage because of hone technique um, so we're gonna deal six damage to get rid of Prowler. And then six damage, who do we wanna get rid of? Um, six damage gets rid of Vulture, which is fine. Um, so we're gonna get rid of Vulture, and that removes, oh, wait. No, we don't wanna get rid of Vulture yet, I'm sorry. I'm playing this so poorly right now. Um, he was a four damage. Um, we want to remove light at the end. And we only have, because we only have to remove one, so we could thwart to do that. Um, so if I played my double life using, a, I don't know, Marshall Prowess isn't in there. Um, if I played my double life using a Clobber, I don't know. Um, I'd flip down, ready, come back up, and then remove light at the end. No, we already made our choices. I'm sorry, I'm being so awful here. Um, so where were we? Vulture's gone. Back up to there. We used Prowler and that to do it. Um, to pay for our melee, we use these, and now we have Clobber, Arachnobatics, Double Life. Um, I get stuck in the choices here, Instincts, and we have Life Size Double, so I can't remove from there anyway. He, Vulture, removes Light at the end. It's going to flip. Um, what happens, though? When the last threat is removed, we have to resolve the Ambush ability and then flip. So we're going to revolve the Ambush. We're going to bring out another enemy. One, two, three, four, five. We will bring out one through five here. One, it's going to be Hobgoblin, who has an activation order of three. So sorry for the confusion there. I get lost in the sauce in this game. Um, so comes over to, we did all that. This comes in with 15. And I think actually, what does it say? Was there an expert type of thing here? Um, One last third is removed from the screen. Okay. 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 Oh, the ambush ability. I probably haven't been placing two threat on light at the end. But I feel like um, we'll throw those two on here now. Okay, so that was a rules mess up. I should have been adding two each time I played Ambush, but hopefully, considering there's only one at light at the end, that seven 
that four. It would have countered. Yeah, I don't know. That's unfortunate that I was doing that, but we'll see what we can do now. Um, so we have a fresh hobgoblin and we have a craven. We can get rid of Craven, um, so we can either play, yeah, we can use Clobber to get rid of Craven. That feels like the move. Yeah, let's do that. So we are going to use these two to play for Clobber um, and deal four or five damage to Craven because of our hone technique. Uh, I forgot how dangerous, how good that is with home technique. I could have used that first probably, but we're getting rid of Craven. Craven goes away. We're taking four off the main here. So this is going to go um, down to one. These will just be three. And so we have 13 left on light at the end. And we're going to ready up. So, all right, I'm gonna try not to be stressed about, let's see, one, two, three, four, and five. Um, try not to be stressed about how I was messing up the plus two at light at the end, but we'll see what we can do here. Um, web shot swing in, locust double life swing in. Oh, sweet, so we have <laughs> a lot of cool stuff here, um, but life size decoy really sucks. So, we are gonna go over to um, the main here, I'm going to put, this goes up to 5 out of 7, which if it pops we lose. Um, Hobgoblin Hob is going to attack us. Um, I don't want to take indirect damage, so I think we have to, fortunately, yeah, I think we have to defend here. So he is going to attack us for 1, 2, 3, so he does deal the damage. That is really unfortunate so we have to take two indirect damage um so we go down to two health so we this is a tough game man okay so now we get our encounter cards and we get two of them so we're going to get a brute force barricade <sighs> okay so <laughs> game has it has such a way of making this last for Ever. So this is just going to go on and on and on. Okay, so Brute Force Barricade comes out. We get our next one. It's going to be under fire. Surge and reveal the top card of the deck. Two more cards. So we're going to get another life size decoy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Which gets tough in expert mode. So it's like, what do we do with that? And Partnership of Pain. All right, so the villain with the highest. So he's going to attack us. So we. Oh, so we just lose here. So yeah, he attacks us, and <sighs> he's only attacking for one. So we somehow survived that, because he's adding X to the total attack of all other villains in play. There are none. So he only attacks us for one, and we somehow survive. That's insane. I almost just wanted it to end. Oh, gosh, okay. So we have one life, we're exhausted. Um, infinite threat that we can't remove hazard icon this game is just brutal so what can we do here um i can't believe we survived that um i wish we could start taking off we could try to oh, man i guess we could try to destroy one of the life-size decoys i don't think that's going to do anything for us Double life might be huge for us. A locust would help, I think. I don't know. Swing in. Yeah, I'm trying to think what, what like how we can save ourselves here. Okay, so I can um, use a web shot and a swing in, I guess to play a swing in. Or do we end up just doing two swing? No, that wouldn't make sense. Um, but I could also do, because I want to flip down to heal. I need to do that, and double life would help us do that. Uh, 
Sorry, I'm just so confused right now. Um, so let's see, swing in web shot, deals four damage and stuns him. We have all energy. So uh, what can we do? Web shot, swings in, swing in. We could do a web shot and swing in. Flip down, hope we survive. Yeah, that feels okay, actually. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's do a web shot and a swing in. I don't know. We're going to use Locust and Double Life to do a web shot. We'll deal four damage to um, Hobgoblin um, to bring is five left. So four damage on Hobgoblin, and then we'll resolve Venom Blast. So we'll go up to six health, six damage on him, and stun. And then that resolves web shot, and then we can um, use a web shooter and a swing in to pay for a swing in. We'll generate a mental resource and the swing in. We will remove four threat from a scheme. Threat cannot be removed from underside. See, that's fine because we're moving it from the main. And then we'll do a Spider Camouflage, which we will give a Tough and a Confuse. So Tough to us, Confuse on the Hobgoblin. Um, we're trying to hang in there, and then we're going to flip down and shuffle a Swing In back into here. So these life-size decoys um, are brutal, plus the barricade. Like, we have to, we can't just, like, we can't do anything with our threat. We have to just destroy the enemies, um, like the villains, to do that. And so this game now, it like pins us into having a forever long game. So that's fine. Um, we're going to ready. We are going to draw six cards. Power Regression, Clobber, Professor X, Power Within, Power Regression, and Genki Lee. All right, so if I sound defeated, it's because, boy, oh boy, do I feel it. Um, so we're going to go over to the main, or over to the villain. One is going to go on. He's going to scheme, but he's confused. Um, what else? And then now we get two encounter cards. So one, two. Um, we're going to get an exhaustion. We exhaust our identity so we can't heal. This game is so dumb. Um, and then it surges into another surge and we have to place one threat on the main scheme for each enemy in play which is three so this goes all the way back up to five already we get another card um craven and electro come into play um which isn't terrible because <laughs> like might help us in the end because we need enemies to defeat um so we can deal with threat so craven and electro come in um that's that card and then our last one doc Ock and scorpion <laughs> coming to play okay all right well we're just getting wrecked they're overtaking us here doc Ock and scorpion come into play this is insane i don't what, what's their order doc Ock is one um electros two hobgoblins three we got four and five. This is banana land. Okay, so that just gets out of hand so fast. Are these life-size decoys, I guess, yeah, now we have all these enemies, so we can at least get rid of some threat. Um, and, and I guess that is how that is happening. Um, that's all that. We have infinite enemies. It comes over to us. We have one health and a tough, and we're exhausted. Um, but... Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to think what I can salvage here. Um, use a clobber. Professor X is going to be huge because we need, <laughs> we need someone to block. Um, and remove threat. Oh, goodness. Okay, so with our one health, we have to flip back up. I just can't deal with Genki Lee right now. Um, uh, while we're at it, we might as well play a clobber. Uh, 
deal f five damage and it returns. So we can deal five damage. The thing is, I kind of want the Hobgoblin to stay stunned. Because if we get two up, we somehow with all our cards get more ac activations. Yeah, so I'm gonna... There's so much with this barricade too that we have to get rid of. I'm gonna play Clobber, which it'll do five damage because of Hone Technique, and then it's gonna come back to our hand. But I think we're going to do that five onto Craven the Hunter because he's the worst. Um, I don't want him to make us lose more um, supports and upgrades. So Clobber's back in our hand. Can I play it again? No. So um, I, we need to get down X. And so I think I'll use Clobber, Power Regression, and Genki Lee to play X, who will come in. He's going to thwart three from the main. So this will go down to three. And that is all we can do. So this is just insane, insane, insane stuff. Um, I feel like every turn we get exhausted anyway, but I'm gonna hang on to power within, and hopefully we don't. So, whew. crazy, crazy, crazy stuff happening right now. Um, we're gonna draw four cards. One, two, oh, we're gonna deck out. Oh my God, okay, so power of advanced genius, swing in, and melee. Decking out is not what we needed right now. Um, so, I don't know how we're getting out of this. I don't know how we make this work or happen. Um, this is bananas. Um, melee is huge. Melee is huge. So swing in is huge as well. Just don't have the cards to do everything we want. All right, so we go over. This is going to go up to. Four of seven. Whew. We are facing down some insane stuff. So Hobba Goblin's gonna go to attack, but he's stunned. And then we get three encounter cards where everything has surge. Um, okay, here we go. This is what I, okay, so Sinister Strike comes out. Um, so this is kind of why we didn't kill Hobgoblin because now he can attack into X. So he's attacking for three. Goodbye, Professor X. So we thank you for your service. Um, and if we have another attack, we at least have tough. Oh, so this is just a this this one's a kill shot for us. Um, we're probably gonna lose now. So this comes in with six, but it has each enemy gains one acceleration icon. So we currently have five acceleration on the table. Their last one is a surprise. Um, we have to resolve the ambush ability. Okay, so we bring out all six. Um, this is just kind of a perfect, what feels like an ending for us, but we'll see. Technically, we haven't lost yet. Um, and then we add two onto light at the end. I don't see how we get out of this, but um, we can try. We can try. Um, so what can we do here? We, I don't know if swing in is gonna help us at this point. Let's see, because um, we need to get rid of, we need to kill two of them this round. Or actually, if we thwart two from here. Yeah, so we can, I think we're gonna have to, well, let's wait for Venom Blast. Um, Okay, so I think we might be able to make something happen here. Maybe, 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 maybe. Um, so I think our press the advantage is gonna play a power within. Uh, and then we are going to thwart two. 
from here. That brings us down from six to four. A coordinated effort. No, no, we lost because brute force barricade threat cannot be removed from other side schemes. Uh, okay, so yeah, we lost. Um, so we'll keep that at six, but like, um, you know, because what, what we would be able to thwart for two to bring this down to seven. Um, we would have to, then we can use our Venom Blast, um, which would deal two damage to an enemy and stun it. Um, six seven eight yeah no okay yeah we lost because we don't we don't have any way to get rid of anything else like because the best we could do is we could do that venom blast with um two maybe on vulture Two doesn't take out either of these, so maybe the two on Vulture and a stun, and then really all we could do is if we played a swing in. Well, geez, swing in might be able to save us actually. So yeah, I definitely got attacked last turn, so I didn't, um, a swinging could potentially save us, wait, five, no, six, we have to kill someone, so that two would have to go on to, no, so I, I think we actually take this back and potentially survive with our swing in, um, if we don't, Thwart brute force barricade that stays at nine, five, six, seven. Um, so if this stayed at nine, I'm sorry, I'm trying to piece this together here. So, so if that stayed at nine and we um, instead did our power within, we. Um, If we didn't do power within, we do that in the melee. No. So let's say we still did our power within. We still have to actually do that Venom Blast to deal two damage and stun that enemy. Um, Who can we kill? Yeah, so we can deal. Hey, I just wanted to quickly chime in here because I got a phone call that ended up just cutting our misery and ending the game there um, on the recording. And it stuck around a little bit, um, but no, they just overran us. Um, this uh, scenario is nuts. Um, I'm moving on, not trying to win it. Um, that was crazy and just like man i <laughs> i'm happy to be done and moving on from that uh but Ma, thank you for watching miles morales is cool i gotta learn how to play him better um but yeah please like and subscribe and do all that stuff below i appreciate it and i thank you guys a lot for tuning in we'll see you next time